Today I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Avid Media Composer and how to set up your bins and how to import pictures um, for the slideshow project that we're going to be doing. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your dock and you're going to launch Avid. And once it starts up, it's going to look just like this. You're going to be prompted to select an existing project or create a new project. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new project. And for our class, every time you make a new project, you want to make sure that you name it with your name and then what the project is. So for this example, we're just going to call it Susan Smith and then Slideshow. So this is the Slideshow project. You don't need to worry about any other settings. Just go ahead and say OK. And now you'll see the project listed here. You can click on OK to open. Once you open the project, you're going to notice you've got four windows. You have this right here, 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 and here. So what I'd like to show you first is the project window. And this is really important. It has to remain open at all times. If you accidentally close out of it by hitting that X, it actually closes your project. So you want to make sure that that window is always open. It also stores all of our bins, which are like folders, and help us organize the different components or media for our video. So this is our bin that's automatically created with our new project. This is the composer window, and here is where you will preview your clips and your media on the left side. And then on the right side, it will show you actually um, what your video looks like as you're building it. Down here at the bottom, you've got your timeline. This is a graph that will show you your sequence as you're adding video and audio um, titles, etc. So for our project, we want to create four separate bins to store all of the media for the slideshow. So we can do that by going to the project window and clicking on this new bin button. So I'm going to click on it three times. So I have a total of four bins. And what you're going to notice is that these windows start to look kind of messy and cluttered and everything's called Susan Smith Slideshow, so it, it can get a little confusing. So the smartest thing to do would be to rename everything and so we can stay super organized. I'm just going to click over here in the project window on the name of the first bin and I'm just going to label it Pictures. So that's where I'm going to store my slideshow pictures. The next one I'm going to label music, and then I'm going to name the third one titles. And the last one is really the most important. This one's going to be called sequence, and that's actually your video that you're creating. And I definitely suggest putting that in a separate bin so that you don't lose it and you know where it is and you don't make any mistakes, especially when you're just starting out with Avid. So again, our screen is still pretty cluttered, lots of windows, lots of things open. So I'm actually going to close the bins that I don't need right now. I'm not going to delete them, I'm just going to close them. So I just hover over this red X and click that. I'm going to close the title bin, the sequence bin, and the music bin. And I'm going to leave the pictures bin open because I'm going to be importing my pictures from the hard drive. So what you'll notice in the project window, once you closed your bins, you can see that the icon next to the bin name is actually now blue. And that tells you the bin exists, but it's just closed right now. If you wanted to open it, you would just wait till your mouse turned into this little hand here and double click and that bin would come back open. Okay, so we're ready to import our pictures. We're going to import the pictures that you scanned in or downloaded um, earlier in the week. And in order to do that, we can go to File, Import, or even easier, we can just right click inside of the pictures bin and choose Import. And once we do that, you'll see your class hour over here. And then you can just click on Pictures. And the folder that you made should be listed here with your pictures in it. I'm just going to use some pictures of our high school for this example. So I'm going to take a few pictures. And in order to select more than one, I'm just going to hold down the shift button and then click. And I'm just going to say open. So it's going to take a second for Avid to build those media files. And once it does, 
your bin is now going to look like this. It's kind of cluttery, and the pictures have these weird labels. If I didn't save them or rename them when I saved them, um, they're going to go with whatever the, the number on your camera was, and it's, it's going to be pretty confusing. You know, which picture do I want first? So what you can do is you can actually change the way that you view the clips inside of your bin, and just by clicking this frame tab, what it will show you is actually the first frame of every clip. So you get a little thumbnail image, so that can help you organize um, which pictures you want to go first and, and so on. In order to look at the thumbna thumbnails a little bit bigger, you can actually hit Command L, or smaller, you can do Command K. And if you want to organize it, you can just click on Bin and choose Fill Window. So now you can see all of your clips there. So this is actually great. You can use this to create kind of like a storyboard of how you want your pictures or your video clips to go before they even get dropped into your sequence. So if I wanted to start out with an exterior shot of the school, I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring that into the first position. And then maybe I'd like the parking lot um, and then the stadium. And I see, oh wait, there's another shot of the stadium down here. Maybe I want them to go together. So I can put that next, and then maybe have the track, and so on. So now I can actually storyboard the order that I want my pictures before I even drop them in, and, and I don't have to worry about, oh, did I already use this shot, um, and, and where did I leave off? So now you know how to create a new project in Avid Media Composer. You know how to create some new bins and how to import your pictures into your pictures bin. Alright, good luck!